Good morning! Hello and welcome to the art studio of Eli Hansen. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about portrait drawing. I was talking to a friend of mine and now a fellow YouTuber, congratulations, about portrait drawing the other day. She suggested that I do a video where I do a portrait with the uh, camera also taking shots of my subject and of the drawing as it's in progress so that the viewers can see uh, how I do these things. Uh, and I told her what a challenge that would be and it surprised her. So that got me thinking maybe I should share with a few of you how hard it can be to do portraits, especially portraits from life. Number one, doing portraits is one of the hardest things that uh, I can think of drawing. And the reason for that is people are always looking at other people's faces. They know exactly what, another, you know exactly what another person's face looks like. Now if I was drawing an apple or a flower or pretty much anything else, you haven't studied that quite so closely. And so by looking very carefully myself, I can do a pretty good representation of one. But someone's face, if one t line is just a tiny bit off on someone else's face, it screams out at the viewer that something is just unnatural here. And it's very difficult uh, to deal with. You've got to be very, very careful when you're drawing people's faces. It's hard to do them realistically. The second half of that is, it's very difficult to draw from life. You, as you saw in one of my past videos where I did a watercolor flower uh, from a photograph, that's not actually that hard. Um, not to say anybody can do it, I, I actually think anyone can do it. It is, it is relatively easy to do uh, drawing or painting from a photograph because the camera has already done a portion of the heavy lifting for you. The camera flattens the image uh, and changes it, changes the three-dimensional object you see in front of you into a, a two-dimensional representation of that object. When you look at something in the real world that is three-dimensional, your eyes uh, are receiving two, two different uh, representations, one from approximately an inch to the right and one from approximately an inch to the left. And then your brain, through long practice, puts those two together and comes up with something that includes uh, depth perception and a perception of the roundness of objects and of their shapes. And to draw something from life, you need to train your brain to interpret what's coming at you and represent it in a two-dimensional way. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying you need to look very carefully at what you're doing and practice drawing it until you learn how to represent what you see in two-dimensional lines. Boy, that nose is off. I hope you can see this. I hope my lines are not too light. What I'm doing here is just a little uh, study of a face as I talk, uh, showing you some of the lines that I use. A common mistake when you are drawing people's heads is to make them too square. And it looks like I'm falling into that just a bit here myself. Maybe round off that end. That's a bit better. People's heads are not are not square, and neither are they completely round. Uh, there's a roundness, especially in the top and in the skull. Here's a little circle, but towards the front and the face, that roundness goes away. Towards the bottom of the skull, where you join the spine, that roundness goes away. Um, the ears are halfway down the side of the head. These are dimensions long established by Leonardo da Vinci, by artists through the ages. You can pick up any book on anatomy and on drawing anatomy and they'll give you some examples of these dimensions. Uh, let's see here. Noses are difficult. This guy looks like Pinocchio, but too long. So, regarding that idea, drawing from life and drawing a portrait for you people to see the process, I think it's a great idea. And even though I just said how difficult it is, I want to do it. Because part of the point of uh, this art channel and part of the point of my art is to challenge myself and to get better, to grow as an artist. And so one of the things you do to grow as an artist is you tackle the things that challenge you, that are difficult for you, and you get better at them. So I would love to do a video of a portrait drawing, a live portrait drawing for you folks, and I will see what I can do to accomplish that. In the meantime, here is a quick portrait drawing for you all to admire or to correct 
if you think you can do better than me, it's entirely possible. And I will see you in the next video.